Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm so excited that you guys are coming back to the channel. I'm so excited that you guys are subscribed to the channel. This video is about B.J. Green. He's headed to Carnival. Actually, he's a great beer buff. Uh, that's some great news because he's he's like a powerful force on defense. But some of you guys that know football, so I'm really happy that he's gonna we're gonna get him. So what I'm saying before this video start is this: I'm changing my prediction. Before I said the Colorado Buffaloes will shut out four to five teams this this season. I, they might shut out six teams this, this season, easy, on defense. Because uh, the defensive line is secondary, the best secondary in, in college football. The best wide re receiver squad in college football. I'm sorry, when I get excited, I start stuttering. Yeah, so it's going to be a great season this year, guys. I'm really happy about it. I'm really happy about the subscribers that's coming in from UK, Canada, um, South Africa, Bahamas, and this other place. I have problem now. <laughs> to mess my name. I'm just sorry about that. I just can't do it. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you guys a lot. Oh yeah, uh, and Texas is is like supporting this channel a lot. Shout out to Atlanta, Georgia, getting this channel a lot of support. Houston, Texas, Dallas, Texas, New York, getting a lot of support from those places. Thanks, guys. Really, really appreciate you guys. Let's break bread. Hold up. Back up. And I'm still standing on my, my words that Shador Sanders would throw for over 5,000 yards this year. And the Colorado... Buffaloes will be averaging 50 points per game this year. So if you can't match 50 points, there's no way you're beating the Colorado Buffaloes this year. Let's jump into this video with B.J. Green. B.J. Green to the Colorado Buffaloes. Don't that sound good? Don't that sound good? Let's not get too crazy because all the reports that are coming out right now, they're using keywords like expected or sources say or Possibly, but if you watch the video that I made on BJ Green when he decided to visit Colorado, I let you guys know that Coach Prime has an inside track with BJ because Dion was his first ever coach. Hey, wow, did you hear that? Dion Sanders, prime time, was his first coach. Uh, it's 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 an eighty percent chance to a ninety percent chance that BJ Green will be a Colorado buff. And this guy's defensive skills are really unpackable, guys. So it's going to be a great season for the Colorado Buffs. I, I'll be so excited if the season begin tomorrow. But as fast as these years have been going by, before we know it, it's going to be the first game of the season. And that's on When that. he was a young buck. So when he, when he decided to transfer from Arizona State, Washington gets a new coach. He goes back into the transfer portal. He gets the visit to Colorado. I said, look, Dion has the chance to get B.J. Green. And Sunday what type of player school. would you be getting? When I talk about football players, I really love the players that start off as walk-ons. Because I will say it and I will preach it. If you can make it as a walk-on and actually by time your junior or senior year be an impact player, you went through adversity. You've handled adversity. You've kept your mind on straight. You've stayed out of trouble. You've made football your main thing because walk on life is a tough one. It's almost tougher than Juco life, but Juco life is a, is a whole other level. But walk on lifestyle is not for the weak at heart. So BJ Green was a guy that could have went to the FCS level. He believed in himself. He walked on. And now you can make the case that he was the best player on Arizona State's team last year. Well, interior defensive lineman, line him up on the outside. He's going to get to the quarterback. When you hear people talk about B.J. Green from the Arizona State 
point of view, people do nothing but rave about his work ethic, his leadership. Usually when a player enters the transfer portal, there's a lot of hating on him. But Arizona State was like, hey, this guy was one of our best. He gave us our years. We'll if I'm not mistaken, this is the same guy that was just had a open door to a sack, a sack Shador Sanders consistently in one game this season just played. I think the thing, if this is the same guy, I was like saying, who is this guy? Because every time you turn around, and when he didn't get to Shador, he had his hands on Shador's shirt. So this guy, if this is the same guy, I think we are, we are, in, we are going to have a great season. I'm just excited about this season. We appreciate you go do your thing. That lets you know the impact he made on and off the field. So if Dion can get him signed, sealed, and delivered, it would be a big get for Colorado. Now let's take a look at this article uh, where a lot of this is stemming from. Coach Prime and the Buffs weren't done in the transfer portal before National Signing Day. B.J. Green is expected to make an official visit after visiting Boulder, Colorado this week. Okay, that's something that we talked about. And uh, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But this is not, this article and several other ones are saying, hey, it's almost signed, sealed, delivered. Green will... Well, guys, I think it is. I think it is. I think we got him. I definitely think we got this guy. And I'm happy about that, guys. I'm happy for Colorado. I'm happy for Coach Fry. I'm happy for Shadu. I'm, I'm happy for the whole team. And for those people that are not too happy about the situation, well, it's nothing we can say about that. We're just going to enjoy our happiness, enjoying this great news that we're getting. Man, I'm so excited right now. Hey, thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Thanks for revisiting the videos again. I really appreciate you guys. Thanks for helping the channel grow. Thanks for leaving vulgar language free comments. I appreciate it when you guys do leave comments. With that said, I'm done breaking bread.